Prostate cancers are uh, treated um, either with surgery or with radiation therapy or certain subset of patients even are observed. They are not offered any treatment. We just offer them active surveillance. So as I mentioned, patients could undergo surgery. The surgery, now there are many advances in surgery even including robotics. Uh, and uh, surgery could be done as a very short procedure with a quick recovery these days. Radiation therapy is also very attractive. A majority of the patients require only a week of treatment with radiation therapy. It's completely non-invasive, no need for anesthesia, no need for admission, no need to take even a break from your work or your uh, regular uh, routine. So radiation therapy is a, a, a very preferred option by a lot of uh, patients with prostate cancers. Apart from these two treatments, sometimes we even add something called a hormone therapy to these set of patients. So we add either hormone therapy before radiation or after radiation, even sometimes after surgery. Some patients, again a group of patients require all three modalities of treatment, that is surgery, radiation therapy as well as hormone therapy. So these by and large, these are the uh, typical treatment options uh, which, uh, which are commonly preferred by the patients. In among these now proton therapy is, has now emerged as one of the most preferred option uh, for the treatment of prostate cancer, especially in, in North America and in European countries. Now proton therapy is being preferred as one of the most uh, important or most, uh, most preferred modality by patients.